What's up, everybody out there in YouTube land? Brad2501 here. All right, guys. So I uh, got an interesting video. Looked interesting for the Warhammer part of Double Feature Friday. This is Warhammer 40K Smash or Pass Loyalist Primarchs, and this is by Barry Waltz. All right. So yeah, this is a kind of a short video. So I figured out oh, what the hell. This looked interesting. Let's let's jump into this rabbit hole. All right. So let's see what we got and go. Epilepsy warning. Oh boy, yeah, don't look away. Look away, children. Look away. Hey everyone, I've had some requests to do some more personal content, editorial kind of stuff. So mm. here's this instead. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, God. Oh, shit. No, but seriously, he's oh, okay. judging you. whether I would bang imaginary 10 foot tall demigods and imaginary 10 foot tall white males. Starting off with the loyalists. Firstly, we have a lion L. Johnson. So, with the lion, it could go two ways. He could either chuck a you and start brutally murdering anyone he considers a threat to our love, or oh. he'll be completely unstable and catch domestic, if you know what I mean. But he is catch beautiful, domestic. unpredictable, and mysterious. I mean, just look at him that luscious hair, that gorgeous beard, that look in his eyes like he's about to tear your asshole apart. So, for Lionel Dude! Johnson, I'll say a very cool smack. Next up is our speedy Mongolian chat. Jagatai. Jagatai would Mongolian. be very distant in his own thoughts, kind of like the lion, but I think he'd make for a very sweet lover. Unless, of course, you gave consent for him to go fast. And then there's after Bruh. he'll either lay in bed, cuddle and impart some wisdom onto you, or he'll put on his leather jacket, hop on his motorbike, say, sorry, babe, <laughs> but I can't get tied down. I gotta keep moving fast. And then ride nice. up into the sunset while yeah. you'll probably cry miserably at the one who got away. So although this might seem awful, the Khan is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and it's a smash from me. For our smash. third loyalist, we have our furry prime Mark, oh Russ. god. Lehman Russ would absolutely be the equivalent of a caveman or a furry. Drooling everywhere. Uh, probably both combined, dirt dude. And dust and smelling disgusting. On top of that, he likely wouldn't be a good lover in the slightest. But he would have the gall to go and brag about himself to everyone after the act. Embarrassing probably. both himself and you in the process. This is a big pass, no doubt about it. Ah. Our fourth loyalist is another disappointment in the bedroom. Rogel Dawn. The man who seems to have oh, everything. Lord Adornable? Massive muscles, a handsome rough face, some sick hair gold armor and while he is a massive primarch he's still the smallest of them. but dawn would be really so dawn is the smallest primarch foreplay would become planning sex would become fortifying ah! and any sort of cuddling or after <laughs> yes he would away. he would the fortify would the damn bed and that's even if he took a break in the first place i also <laughs> truly believe that God. he would have zero sexual desires and just want to go yeah that's style true every time it'd be like fucking cal drogo from game of thrones another easy pass now for the easiest choice of the day sanguinius just look at sanguinius look at him smash Ferris Manus, the Primarch of the 10th Legion. <laughs> that was short. Dead. So we'll assume he has his head attached for this list. Ferris okay. would be an excellent lover. Very logical while also allowing room for his emotions. Meaning you get the best of both worlds. He would also be quite competitive and would work hard to make sure okay. he's the best in bed you've ever had. Three issues to be wary of though. He may become cold and detached after a frisky night in the bedroom. Not for any reason, just because he's Ferris Manus. You also just won't because. have any control. Ferris Manus makes all the decisions, not you. And he is very stubborn. And finally, he has metal arms and I am not particularly into that okay, shit. Okay, why? for me, so long as he keeps those giant silver dildos away from me. <laughs> oh, then we what have the hell's with the imagery Jordan, here? The face of 40k oh, and God. the plot armor. Leader of the face. While at of first the he might seem incredibly awkward and fumbly as if he's a virgin, because he probably is. Rebute is Ooh, a man capable burn. of adapting to anything. So it only gets better and better throughout your life. He is also quite Pause? open to his emotions, so you would have yourself a caring lover as well. Not too much to say about Gilliman. He's not the best pick, but he's good. It's an easy smash. And that brings us to Vulcan. And my goodness, oh my God. what a specimen. Look at those red eyes. Like Dude, he will destroy your, your spine. At him. Oh, those big I wish to bet this creature. Forward, he would be, but they did the poop on this dude. The hammer. Vulcan, as the most human of the Primarch, and also the largest of the Primarchs, is an easy choice. None on this list, except maybe Sanguinius would love you more. And I mean, huh? do I even need to say how this dragon would be in bed or after that sweet, sweet loving? I didn't think so. So Vulcan gets <laughs> the and a smash from me. Last up for the loyalists, we have Corvus Korax, the pale beauty. While he oh, also has emo. human emotions, he would also be emo. a massive we bird, always Corvus. doubting himself, being all depressed and edgy and shit. Only other yep. emos find that attractive and Emos. that just ain't me. Not to mention the guy is likely to run away like he always does and constantly ask for reinsurance. For me, Korax just isn't worth it. And so spend a lot of time the past. making Thanks posts about guys. birds and this fresh super new content. dead like birds. You see and you want to see more, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Also, if okay, he's talking about his patron and apparently he does the same stuff on Patreon that Major Kill does where he shows he does Warhammer Schmentai. All right, so that was Warhammer 40k Smasher Pass. <laughs> the Loyalist Primarchs by Barry Waltz. Yeah, so never done his stuff before. Boom, subscription for me. 
Uh, I recommend you guys click on the link to the original down in the description. Get down to Barry Wallace's channel, like the original, and sub to him over there if you enjoyed this. Uh, I'll have to look and see what other Warhammer stuff he's got. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was weird. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Tune in every day for new content. Bye-bye.